there's another way. It was this, it was this sense of, of just being open to be shown another way. In other words, when we ask for another way of looking at the world, we're really asking to see it as a whole. Because we've had sayings like, the whole is greater than some of the parts. And we want to see everything from a holistic perspective. But the, the ego is always emphasizing, just like, uh, almost like a hologram, um, the ego is always emphasizing the parts as if they're holes in and of themselves. And we don't see the, the big picture when we are just focused on the parts. So, if we looked at it in terms of thinking, there's, there's thinking in terms of the parts, and then there's thinking in terms of the whole. And when we talk about parts, we're not really focusing on things as if they, they are as they seem to be, but just this willingness to see it all from a new perspective. So like this type chat I did the other day when this woman, you know, said before I went to lunch, she said, hmm, but God is in the seed. And there's two lessons in A Course in Miracles, lesson 29 and 30. Lesson 29 is God is in everything I see, which we resonate with. And then lesson 30 explains, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. So it's not that saying that God indwells in objects, which would be pantheism, but it's actually saying, because I have the Holy Spirit, the presence of God in my mind, that there is a way of looking upon the world with that presence, and seeing the whole, instead of seeing the parts that the ego made up. So, in the most striking way, it, it's when we start to get in terms of like romance and love relationships and so on and so forth, where there's really an emphasis on the parts, and there's there's a focus, it's almost like they're lifted up, and uh, in romance, two parts are better than one. Uh, one is the loneliest number that you ever know, is you know, <laughs> like, said from that perspective, and the ego would say that. Um, and then the two, you know, much of the, of the romance and much of the pursuits are all around that concept of, of two. And um, as if, you know, that, as if that's like a natural, like a law of nature that you're to be kind of paired off in that way and, and all the way carried out to the soulmate idea. It's very deep. It's, you know, throughout the fairy tales, you know, Cinderella, the whole thing with Cinderella is to find the prince, you know, and, and there's so many uh, parables and fairy tales that are just kind of all built on that. And then this is more of a dismantling of that, and it's just going through a disillusionment first with it, and then actually being pulled through to an experience that is very, very expansive, that is beyond that. And really having the faith to carry, to carry through with it and be shown that experience. There's another way.